Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Alessandra Vega. You can call me Allie. And uh, we're doing another sketchbook tour today. I did a sketchbook tour back in in November and I uploaded it, I think in January. Um, started this sketchbook right after I finished it. This is the Strathmore Mixed Media soft cover sketchbook. I really like it been fun to work in. It's actually not completely finished. I have like four pages at the back that I haven't touched yet, but I wanted to get this video up and filmed for this week and because I don't really want to order a new sketchbook right now, I didn't feel like wasting those pages and just like rushing to finish them for this video. So those four pages are unfinished, but the rest of it is pretty much complete. There's a good mix of like note taking, illustration, and painting in the sketchbook, so you get a pretty good look at everything that I do. First page is just a sketch of some mountains. I'm probably not going to talk about everything that's in this book because it's kind of self explanatory. Sketch of some mountains. Um, we're just going to keep going. Some notes, so this was at the end of fall quarter, back in November, pretty much right when I finished the other sketchbook. These are just notes about pretty much everything that I had done that quarter and uh, what I wanted to do with that body of work moving forward. At some point, I went back in on this page and started adding more notes, like the extended media practice is after I started winter quarter back in January. More notes, I was working through a lot of ideas, asking myself a lot of questions about what I wanted to do with um, essentially my senior thesis and the work that I was trying to create. And then this was initial brainstorming for some installations for extended media. And then up here um, in red are some words that I wrote down. We did this exercise in my extended media class where we looked at all of our work and came up with words that felt like that we felt embodied um, all of our work. So those were some of the words that I came up with. More notes. Um, in my first couple of vlogs from January, I started working on my first piece for extended media and these were my first ideas for that piece in this this sketch is what I ended up basing my entire piece off of. It didn't really end up looking like that, but um, that's what sketches are for. And then on this page, I don't normally sketch out my paintings before I work on them, but I was starting to work from reference images, from photos from my childhood. So I was just sketching them out and writing down basic ideas for the piece and how I wanted them to look and how I wanted them to feel. These are more sketches for the first piece that I worked on um, <coughs> during winter quarter. I have a video. I work on this in one of my vlogs, so I'll link that in the cards. More questions about um, my first installation. These were notes, notes that I took in my extended media class about what you need to know when you're trying to propose an installation. I took these in a different notebook, but I wanted to have all of my notes on installations and my sketches in the same place, so I just taped them in here. And this, we're getting to like the end of last quarter, just trying to come up with ideas for my final installation, my final projects. Uh, I got really stressed out during finals, and I just wanted to paint and I missed abstract painting, and I missed just like throwing paint around, so I didn't have any extra canvas. So I decided to throw paint around in my sketchbook, because that's what they're for. I think this is like my last bit of note taking. Some notes about my fine artwork versus illustration work which is something that I think about a lot because I really like to do both and they're similar but they're also very different and I don't know how they can exist at the same time so I'm always thinking about that and taking notes about it 
And um, this was when I was trying to work on my final for Senior Studio. It was supposed to be, um, this was the sketch for that final piece, but I was really struggling to work on it. I had started using reference photos of myself from childhood and I kept getting caught up in trying to depict those photos accurately, but I also wanted to blend some of the abstraction from my other work with these pieces, and um, I couldn't like find the balance, so I just sketched out a picture from Pinterest and then did like an abstract, abstract <laughs> did an abstract sketch and then tried to blend them. Didn't really work. These are some sketches that I did. Um, I think it was there's the final version on my Instagram that I did in Procreate, and then there's a couple more sketches of it after this page, but I was trying to illustrate this picture that I saw on Pinterest, and it wasn't working out the way that I wanted it to, so here I was trying to figure out how to convey the message and feeling that I was going for in a different way, and then this triggered my um, illustration, like, style crisis that I went through for a moment. This you might recognize from some of the daily vlogs that I did at the very beginning of quarantine that, um, th these were sketches for the final piece that I was going to do on this page that I ended up getting bored with and never did, which is fine. This was my initial sketch from the photo on Pinterest, and then this was my second attempt at stylizing it a bit more, and then this was me trying to find a balance, which I liked, and then I did the version that I posted on Instagram, and then I got really tired, and then I didn't know what I was doing, and then I fell into my style crisis. So we're gonna come across a couple of pages of me just like struggling. This was at the start of quarantine. I watched a Skillshare class on um, like visual journals and using art to journal about your feelings. And I was feeling sad, so I did this. And then I went back the next day and I wasn't feeling sad. And so I added some things that make me happy. So I drew a little messy version of the Fine Line album, which there will be more of that in the sketchbook, um, my view from outside my window and our cat Phoebe on my desk. And then um, I hadn't been painting in a while and I wanted to, so I did a little sketch on that page. Fine line. I did this version and then I fixed it in Procreate and then I did a digital version of it in Procreate to figure out which one I liked more and I still don't know. And then this was my continuation from the other page where I was feeling sad. And that's, I think, kind of the end of that. More full spread painting. <clears throat> this is a mixture. Um, I didn't say, but most of the sketchbook is a mix of like ink and pencil, gouache, and acrylic. This page I primed with gesso after I taped off the square and then painted with, I think this is mostly gouache. This is gouache. This is gouache and in ink. This is gouache and color pencil. And this is gouache and acrylic. And then after this point, I'm kind of mixing gouache and acrylic because I don't have acrylic gouache. Um, but I like both, so I decided to mix them. These are some notes for my senior show that is not really happening, but we're still planning it. And then these were some doodles from <laughs> the last Zoom call for class that I ever participated in, uh, like a month ago. Jordan found this um, 
animal reservation? Wildlife reservation? Yeah. Nature reservation? Yes. <laughs> Something like that. And um, I thought all the pictures were really cute, and I wanted to draw animals because they're kind of my favorite thing to illustrate. So I did a whole page of them with gouache and ink. I said that I wanted to do the six character fan art challenge and then started it and then realized that I am not good at drawing fan art, so I stopped. Um, at some point over the last month, I got into doing landscape studies. So this is, um, I primed this random shape in my sketchbook and then did acrylic over it. Um, acrylic sits really weird on top of gouache in the sketchbook, but it's still fun. And then um, this was a sketch for the six character fan art challenge that I never finished. And then Jordan and I watched Colette one night and we didn't really enjoy it, but I wanted to draw Karen Knightley as Colette, so I did. We're coming up to the end. So this page, I went on Instagram and I asked people to send me things to draw as I was warming up to draw that day. And I ended up only drawing the things that people sent me to warm up. And I also hated most of them. So there were a couple more on this page that you can see I covered up. But I liked the frog sipping tea. And this is Alfie. It doesn't really look like Alfie, but it's Alfie, our bird. Uh, didn't like the bunny, but he's there. So. I just did this today. I added a couple more little drawings to it to fill up the page, and it's okay. And then on this page, I really hated everything that was going on over here, and I wanted to cover it up, but I didn't want to paint it, so I just did a collage over it. And I actually like the collage a lot. I haven't collaged in several months, so it was a nice thing to get back to. This, um, I uploaded, it wasn't my paint with me, but it was my, one of the last couple of studio vlogs that I posted, I was working on the, I guess the full scale, scale version of this, and I was waiting for the paint to dry, so I just did a test in my sketchbook with, um, the different colors that I was thinking of using, um, the final piece won't end up looking like this at all, but it was fun to play around with, and this is just straight up acrylic on paper. And then I was planning on doing another one here, but I am i don't really care. I, I'm not bothered by this blank page, so I'm just gonna leave it there. This was also in, I think, the last vlog that I uploaded. Um, I had this idea in the middle of the night and I woke up the next day and I painted it just Again, a study for a larger piece that I may never do, but um, in my head it was going to be a lot more red than this, but these are the colors that I ended up gravitating towards when I worked on it. And this is um, pencil and gouache and acrylic again. And then this is the last thing that's in here, but I did these on camera in the last vlog too. These are just some random pencil sketches of different compositions for pieces that I may or may not ever do. And then this was just a little fun study. I don't normally play with such a vibrant, like primary focused color palette. So this was really fun. It really reminds me of um, Helen Frankenthaler, who I love. So I'm pretty happy with that. And um, that's it, that's the whole thing. The whole sketchbook. It took me roughly six months to finish it. Um, I mean, it's not it's not finished, finished, but it's finished. Um, and that's the fastest I've ever filled up a sketchbook because this and the first one that I toured are the only sketchbooks that I've ever even come close to completing. So that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you again very soon. Bye.